A number of people involved in the planning of the various construction projects gathered today to listen to MnDOT Commissioner Charlie Zelli talk about this year's robust construction schedule. He warned that funding for MnDOT projects is sadly going to be reduced in the next two, three, or four years. Alexandria Mayor Sarah Carlson says it makes the timing of Alexandra's downtown revitalization project all that more crucial. It's been many, many years of hard work by many of you in this room, and that's much appreciated. And just listening to the commissioner talk about the money and the funding, I think our time on all the projects is really fortunate in that he seems to think that there won't be money in a few more years. One of the concerns about the project going right through the heart of Alexandria's historic downtown is the inevitable disruption to the summer tourist traffic in downtown businesses. But business owners like Dan Botker put out a challenge to local residents in the interim. And during this downtown's construction, we'd like to challenge the community of Alexandria to support our downtown during the construction project. Things could get rough for some businesses because of the lack of front door access during the project. I just want to remind everybody that all businesses will remain open throughout the entire construction. The partnership between the City of Alexandria and MnDOT has made the size and scope much more palatable, and so have some of the stipulations placed within the construction agreements. City engineer Tim Schoenhoven explains one of the many little details to help downtown businesses. The sidewalks will remain in place as long as possible. We'll do all the removals, but we'll leave the, the first five feet out from the building. We'll leave that as long as we can possibly leave it for access. But even when the sidewalk goes, the contractor has to maintain access from the front, either on a plywood sidewalk or on a gravel sidewalk, but they have to maintain access really at all times. Schoenhoven says the final contract will likely be awarded to low bidder Celine Brothers Construction at the next city council meeting April 14th. Then... So between April 14th and May 12th, there's a lot of activities. One of the most important ones that happens is a pre-construction meeting. There's a bunch of informal meetings, but there's a very formal meeting called a pre-construction meeting be held in this room with the contractor and his subcontractors and we go through things in, in a tremendous amount of detail. So at that point we really know the schedule, you know, exactly when he's going to start and what he's going to do. One thing they hope they will do is finish the project by the substantial completion date of October 3rd. Many involved stress the importance of communicating each step of the process, and MnDOT commended Alexandria for its planning going into the project. There's been a lot of work that's been done with the communication, the public outreach with the road committee. I know that they've raised money. They've um, planned for different banners, advertising blitz, and they've created a website that's really going to be helpful throughout the duration of this project. We believe that when this is said and done, um, it will bring more people, more tourists, more people downtown to shop our downtown and business will be better. Um, as a downtown business owner, I can assure you that most of the downtown businesses are looking forward to the final completion of this project in October when we can finally enjoy the fresh new look of downtown Alexandria. Six months from now, we'll all know firsthand whether all the work up front has paid off. For Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joe Kurkowski.